Oh, uh, hey guys, it's Rural Ford, and welcome back to another awesome toy review. If you guys want more toy reviews like this, smack that like button, subscribe with that notification bell turned on so you never miss an upload. Also, subscribe to my main channel in the top right hand corner of this video as well. And if you guys watch this video from start to finish without skipping through the video, you're a part of the awesome squad. Thank you guys so much for all the support. At 10,000 subscribers on this channel, I will be doing a big giveaway. So make sure you smack the like button, comment in the comment section, watch the video from start to finish, and you're subscribed to both my channels. The notification bell turn on. Okay, so we're gonna be reviewing in this video some Animal Planet toys, Dinosaur Discovery, along with another awesome dinosaur tube, and a couple other things I picked up from the dollar store that I really want to show you guys. Here we go. All right, guys. So I have all this cool stuff right in front of me right here. So a couple of, or we have two of these dinosaur discovery packs, and it's really cool. I mean, there's three dinosaurs. They they cost me like ten dollars each at uh, your local Target because that's the kind of they only sell this stuff anymore. In Target, they hardly sell this stuff anymore. So there's the back of the box, pretty cool looking, pretty sick, pretty sick. Comes with a pterodactyl, a carnosaurus, and some sort of weird looking velociraptor um, mutant mixed with a dilophosaurus. I mean, it's still pretty cool. Arms moving, all that, but I'll show you guys that in a second. The other one we have to review is this one. We have this awesome looking T Rex, baby T Rex, and a velociraptor in the corner. So, pretty awesome. Move its arm and its mouth moves. Love the coloration to it. Very cool back of the box very awesome movable jaw and arms pretty sick and at the end of the video I'll go ahead and show you guys these little things that I picked up from the dollar dollar tree so stay tuned let's open up this bad boy one two three awesome I'm gonna take all these guys right out of the box Okay, so not too shabby at all. So here's the one Dino bo uh, Discovery box. It comes with this awesome looking pterodactyl that I've never seen before. Love the face scan, pretty cool. He's very like uh, flexible. His legs are very flexible. Obviously don't bet him too much because you might break him, but still very beautiful, very cool looking bird. Very pretty. Next up, that weird looking like mutated dinosaur between a Velociraptor and a Dilophosaurus. This thing is very cool looking. Not a big fan of the screw holes, but still nonetheless is Animal Planet. Its mouth opens up so I can like roar and all that. His legs move, his arms move back and forth. They can't go side to side. That's got no shoulder movements, but it still can go up and down. Um, very awesome. The legs, you can like pounce. So. That's even more cool. I can like pounce on the stuff. So, very awesome. That's a very cool dinosaur. And last but not least, another reason why I pretty much bought this playset was because of this awesome looking baby Carno. Very cool, very scary looking. Love the face scan. He just looks so ferocious and awesome. How can you not pick this guy up? So sick. For a $10 playset for three dinosaurs, I'm not too disappointed in it. This one, I hope this Velociraptor is going to be um, not loose because when I bought another playset from Target that involved Animal Planet, this came with the same exact, uh, came with the same exact Velociraptor. You can check that out in the top right hand corner. And he was very wobbly, so hopefully this one is not wobbly. Alright, so out of this playset, you get the Velociraptor, the baby T-Rex, and the big T-Rex. Now, believe it or not, this is like a very light plastic. It's not heavy at all. It's very light. Pretty much almost like the same... Uh, well, I don't like the way his draw moves like that. Can you guys see that? How it kind of just wobbles around. Uh, I guess as long as he works, right? That's kind of That kind of creeps me out a little bit, though. Anyway... So here's these uh, little Velociraptor. He's pretty scary looking. His head. I don't know if his head moves or not. Uh, I'm kind of scared to turn it to be honest with you. Uh, these go up and down. His arms go up and down. So that's pretty cool. Not very wobbly, which is good. His legs move very well. 
So that's pretty cool. And he stands. Let's see how well he stands up, guys. And he stands very well. So that's very awesome. Not a bad buy for this guy. Worth the money so far. Definitely worth the money with this T-Rex, this little statue T-Rex. Love it. Love the colors. I love the blue and the yellow. They just pop and work so very well together. Uh, very sick. Got a little bit of the paint job on the teeth, though, as you can see. A little bit of blue right there, but that's okay. I can fix that up. Uh, still very awesome. That's a very cool dinosaur. Very proud to add it to my collection. And next up, last but not least, with this dinosaur, we have the huge T-Rex. His legs do move. Not very far, but they do move very well, actually. His one arm, or actually you can move either arm, and it makes the jaws move. So that's very cool. Face scan is pretty awesome. Love the coloration. Love like the gray, the red, or orange, and uh, black. Love it. Very cool. Does that little bit of draw move. It's kind of weird. I don't like how it can wiggle that easily. But other than that, it's really not that bad of a buy. Alright, so we got the dinosaurs reviewed, guys. Let's go ahead and open up this 18-piece dino tube. You guys know I'm a big fanatic when it comes to these. I absolutely love these. And look how easy that was to open up. Just you take the top right off, not a problem. So you get these uh, random like ferns and bushes. Get like three of those, I believe. Yeah, three of those. First up, we have in here in this dino tube. Let's see what we pull out. So we got a pterodactyl with his wings ready to fly. We have a Velociraptor and a Brachiosaurus. Very cool. Whoa, these kind of all just came out at once. Whoa, okay. <laughs> oh no. Okay, so we have a, I want to say a Patasaurus. Almost looks like a Brachiosaurus, but it is not. Very sick. Next up, we have a Pachycephalosaurus. Very sick dino. Love the coloration. Next up, we have a Parasaur. A little blue Parasaur. We have an Allosaurus. Very scary. Oh, we have a beautiful T-Rex mold. Love that. Very cool. I Let me know in the comments below, guys, what this little guy is called. I completely forgot. I know it starts with a D. I know that for sure. I just don't know how to pronounce it. We have another one of those that I can't pronounce. Another dino. Pretty scary looking, though. And last but not least, we have another Pachycephalosaurus. Different color this time. We have an Ankylosaurus. Very cool little small dino. Love the black coloration. We have a dinosaur that is in the Triceratops family. But this one, I believe it starts with an S. I completely forgot what this one was called. And I do not know how to pronounce it. I apologize. And we have two more Velociraptors. Pretty sick. So that was the 18-piece dino tube. So as you can see, that's empty. Now let's go ahead and get into the Dollar Tree stuff. Random bugs and insects and stuff like that. So let's go ahead and show you guys what I got. So for a dollar a piece, I get eight reptiles. This is reptile pack. When it's not reptiles, they're bugs. And um, let's go ahead and show you guys one of these. For only a dollar, let's go ahead and show you. So first up, we have a red ant. That's pretty cool looking. We have a big black beetle. Uh, this looks like a regular spider. Along with this one. But the way they're shaped, it almost looks like a uh, water bug. But, you know, these are spiders. Looks like this one's trying to jump. 
pretty scary looking. So this is gonna be pretty cool. Another spider. Another beetle. Another spider, and this time this is a black ant instead of the red ant. So that's pretty awesome. Pretty much got the same thing right here with this one. This one has got different stuff in it, so I'll go ahead and show you that. A praying mantis. Blue praying mantis. We have a yellow praying mantis. Pretty sick. Pretty scary looking. Oh, he's upside down, so his legs are all over the place. Uh, we have a black... It looks like a horse fly or a regular house fly. It almost looks like a bee. Pretty scary looking. Oh, we have a grasshopper in this one. A little yellow grass oh, a little yellow grasshopper. Now oh, that's definitely that looks like a it looks like a bee to me. I mean you can make it a bee or a fly, but the way it, how big its eyes are it looks like a, a regular house fly, but the way it's painted. So I think I might just paint it yellow and black and turn it into a bee, because why not, right? Uh, the only thing I don't like about these little containers from the dollar store is they are all different, like blue and yellow. I would like different colorations, so I guess you can just grab a Sharpie marker and color them yourself. But there you go, a, gra a green, uh, blue grasshopper and a uh, couple of centipedes. And I want to show you guys something else. This enough with the bugs. Let's get to the amphibians and the reptiles. So in this one, we have like a little lizard here. A little black lizard, same mold. These are not reptiles, these are amphibians. And I like the way these frogs are posed, like they're climbing. That's pretty sick. You can't find any uh, little tubes like this anymore. You can't find it anywhere. So we got a couple more little lizards. We have another two frogs, yellow and red, both of them. Pretty sick. Another bug one. We have another... Spider and bug one. And we have another. Well, we have two more bug ones. And another amphibian and reptile tube. So, pretty much the same thing. You get a little black lizard. Another little blue lizard. Another cool looking frog. Same thing, yellow and black frog, red frog. So, I mean, that's they're pretty cool looking though, I gotta admit. I mean, not really a bad buy with these guys. And what I wanted to show you guys in the beginning, I, I also opened up one of these that had snakes in it. But, as you can see, these little toys do not have eyeballs. They have eyes, but there's no like black mark there or anything, so you can't really tell where their eyes are. So I went ahead myself and grabbed a Sharpie marker on these snakes and made eyes myself. So that's pretty cool. Maybe I might decorate these guys with some paint pens or something. You know, why not? It'd be a cool little project. I'm going to need all of these guys for a project in the future of this channel involving a toy movie. So... Uh, I had to pick them up and I couldn't pass up the deal so very cool well guys that was the animal planet dinosaur discovery review along with some extra stuff if you guys want more videos like this smack that like button subscribe that notification bell turn on to never that upload guys thank you so much for all your support it really means a lot to me so thank you so much we're growing so big as a YouTube channel and I can't thank you guys enough also, got plenty more play sets to review, so make sure you stay tuned.